So the very first thing I want to do before starting this vlog is introduce you guys to my new Instagram page and that's going to be the fashion page. Um, if you guys checked out my travel update and second channel video which I made about two weeks ago I believe. I introduced the idea of starting a second YouTube channel which is going to be more so about fashion, what I wear on a daily basis, etc. Um, that YouTube channel is going live a little bit later on around March um, but I already started an Instagram page in which I'm going to share my daily outfits with you guys and stuff like that and I will write exactly what I wear um, so you can either copy it or get some ideas ideas from it because a lot of you always ask me where I got my clothes from and stuff so the new Instagram page is called lifestyle aesthetics I actually started this page yesterday so I only have uh, one picture up but it was pretty cool because I announced it on my student aesthetics Instagram and you know almost got 3,000 followers within one day so I want to thank you guys that have already given me a follow there but if you haven't then make sure to check it out it'll be the first link in the description box down below and I'm gonna post every single day on Instagram so if you're interested in what I wear in fashion and you want to increase your style game make sure to check it out What is going on guys? Marijn here from Student Aesthetics. Very excited today um, because we're leaving on the trip to Dubai, Australia, New Zealand within a couple days. Um, this weekend we're actually leaving. So this is going to be my last vlog here in the Netherlands. And then starting next week we're going to vlog every single fucking day for one month straight. So if you're excited then make sure to already hit the thumbs up button on this video because I am freaking excited. Alright so I hope you guys are too. It's gonna be freaking epic. Now obviously we're gonna be away for one month so I have a lot of stuff I wanna take care of. So I'm gonna do that this week. Um, so we're actually leaving in a couple days. So I'm not gonna shoot any more videos. This is gonna be my last one because I wanna have everything straight before I leave. And by then we're gonna do daily vlogs anyway so I'll catch up on the content for you guys. So yeah, one of the first things I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna head to like an Apple reseller store because my MacBook has become so slow. I've been using it for about one and a half years right now, two years I would say. And I've been editing a lot on it. Like right now I do it on my iMac, but I used to do it on my MacBook when it started out. And that's why I think it has become so slow. So, so when we leave on a trip, I still gotta keep working. Like a lot of people think we're going on a vacation. That's absolutely not the case. We're gonna bust our ass. We're gonna upload a video every single day, shoot a video, and I have to continue my online coaching business. So I'm gonna be like pretty much working all day. So it's gonna be a combination of work and pleasure. But yeah, the grind doesn't stop. So I want to clean up that MacBook so it becomes fast again. At least that's what I hope. So I'm going to completely wipe out everything. And they said they will be able to do that at the Apple Store. And then I hope it's going to be uh, fast again. And otherwise, I may have to purchase like a new MacBook. But since I don't have to do the editing, maybe like emails will be fine if it's just slightly uh, faster, right? All right, so they took care of it. Now, usually it would take up to seven days. So I was like, shit, I'm fucked. Um, but they are gonna speed up the process and it's gonna be ready on Friday So exactly the day that we leave because we're gonna leave in the middle of the night on Friday. So perfect So I've been working there for a while and I just got a package in and I already know from who it is so It's from Swole Panda right on time because I'm obviously gonna fly out to the Sun <laughs> Because these are sunglasses and if you guys have been following me for a bit longer uh, You may know that I'm affiliated with them and they have some really, really dope ones So let's open it up. So the cool thing is that all these sunglasses are made out of bamboo Right on, pretty fucking sick. I already got this design, but with silver glasses, and this one has black glasses, and this is one of their new designs. So yeah, you guys will see me wear these when we get to the sun in the next coming vlogs. If any of you guys want to pick up some of these sunglasses or check them out, links in the stretch box down below and a discount code as well. So right now I'm even more excited for this trip, and especially to fly back into the sun, because it is freezing out here in the Netherlands, man. It's, uh, it's really bad. Oh, by the way, look at this bonsai tree. I got this bonsai tree from a couple of friends at um, the housewarming that I did last week. So we got the tree. Now it's a bonsai tree, which means it'll stay small forever. And we even got like the Japanese signs on there. So I really, really love this. I think it's super dope. And the main idea for this tree is first of all, I didn't have any green here in my apartment. So, you know, needed some plants and stuff. But the real idea behind the bonsai tree is that they gave it to me um, because a bonsai tree, it will always stay small, even though it grows from the inside. So it basically gets bigger, you know, it evolves, it grows. But when it grows, you will not see a change from the outside and it will stay exactly the same. And that was kind of like the top behind it. No matter how big I personally get uh, with my business, with success, with making more money, etc., I should stay true to myself. I should remain humble and be the same person that I always was ever since the start. And I can tell you guys like 
up until now, I honestly haven't changed because of success or because of money. I'm exactly that same person. And I think, you know, my longtime followers will know that. And I mean, every person that I meet in real life, my friends and the people around me tell me the same thing. And I think this tree is a really good reminder for me of that, that no matter how big I get, from the inside I will grow, but I will remain humble. I will keep appreciating every single thing that I have. And you know, I do that to the fullest already. This tree is a nice reminder for me that I should keep doing that no matter how crazy things get. So big shout out to my friends for hooking me up with this tree and um, all the other presents that I got. I actually got some really cool stuff. I'm gonna show you guys something else. So the girls hooked me up with this picture and that is from the meeting that we had, you know, about two months ago. And this picture has a deep emotional value to me because that meetup was absolutely insane. And that's why I put it next to my office to remind me every single day of how far we've taken student aesthetics so far. There were 150 people at the meetup and also my squad obviously who have always supported me since day one and I know they will have my back forever. It's a super cool presence and I can't ask for any better friends for real. And um, I got that plan as well which looks really cool in my office too. So big shout out to them. With all that emotional stuff out of the way, I'm gonna actually get some gains in. Let's do it. Introducing a very original meal on my channel that you guys have never seen before. I need to start being more creative. <laughs> it's an hour later, I'm about to go to the gym. Pre-workout drink of the day is gonna be a white monster. And believe it or not, I haven't had any monsters for the past three weeks. So it's sure gonna be hella good. Um, the workout split I'm doing right now is a little bit different because last week I did a D-low week, which you can check out on my latest vlog. So this week I started a new routine and that is a full body routine and it's gonna be three times a week. And main reason is because me and Nabil are gonna be traveling for one month and uh, while traveling, I always like to do a full body routine. Since you don't have to go that often to the gym, you can still make progress and you can spend your time in a different way because obviously we're going to all kinds of beautiful countries we want to see as much as possible and don't spend too much time in the gym so not gonna hit the gym every single day only three times a week and this full body routine is absolutely amazing I've actually done it a couple months ago as well and not necessarily this specific full body routine I'm doing but a full body routine in general is very good if you're a natural lifter so that's what I'm gonna do for the next week for sure and I'm planning on releasing a full body routine for free for you guys another workout split because I know many of you don't have the budget to purchase any of my programs obviously a lot of you are students on a budget and I still got love for you so I want to show that so I am coming out with a full body program and that's gonna be in a few weeks from now I don't have a release date yet so make sure to stay tuned but let's head to the gym and kill it straight to the dome and guys pre-workout gains that's it let's hit it I just starting off the squats here after D-Lo week you always want to start and build up again from a little bit of a lighter weight than you actually did like before you started deloading I ended up doing squats with like 140 kg for about three reps although I had a belt right now I'm gonna do a belt list because I know that when I'm on the trip to Australia, um, I will usually not have a belt. I'm not gonna bring that with me. So, already gonna try it without the belt. So, I'm gonna build back to 120 kg and I try to get five reps and then three sets. <laughs> that was it for the legs. Stan is gonna finish legs. Yep. He's on a push pull leg routine right now. I'm doing full body, so I'm done with legs. Right now, I'm gonna do bench press. Basically, whole upper body. Gonna skip out on arms though, because today's the power day. And the other day, I do upper every day, and I only do arms on that day. Also, make sure to leave a like for my sock game, which is always on point. I just starting with upper body, first one chest, gonna do the bench press. Um, now, before the D-Lo week, I was doing a regular bench press, so touch and go. But now I'm gonna switch over to the pause bench press, which is a lot harder. So, I'm dropping in weight, and um, it should be a little bit easier, like I said before. So that you can overcome plateaus, you always wanna start off a little bit lighter than before. About 10%.
Solid work out there, guys. Look at my car, it's shitty as fuck. Literally, got shit all over the place. So I'm about to have this clean up. First thing we're gonna do. Stan, good workout, bro. Hell yeah. All right, so this is the end result. Baby is clean again. Now also, I haven't shown you guys this yet, but I got some new rims. These are 19 inch casket rims. And before I had the 17 inch wheels, and right now I got the black ones. So I think it's really dope. I personally really like it. You may not like it, but this is my style. And now I still got those brakes in black. I'm gonna make those red very soon when I get back from my trip. And that's gonna be the finishing touch for sure. As far as any other plans, you know, I may do a paint job in the future. Um, I've always wanted like a matte black car. I think that's pretty dope as well. So I may do that later on. But for now, I think a car like this is really dope. Maybe like tint the windows. You can do so much with a car. And um, I was never really into cars before I got this car. This is my first car. So I like to play around with it. I, I'm really a newbie when it comes to cars and uh, modifications and whatever. Like I have no idea idea about other stuff but it's fun to learn more so I'm gonna pour this down take a shower and then it's time for the real post workout meal got going for the steak and potatoes can never go wrong with that a lot of people would ask me what kind of cooking spray I use and it's this one the Pam with butter flavor and it's pretty much zero calories it does have some traceable calories but very very minimal so I like to use this while cooking to save some fat calories that you would normally have from olive oil Right, so finally there we got steak, white potatoes, bunch of them, 300 grams, and then some tomatoes as the veggies. I'm gonna add some of this ketchup to the potatoes, you know. So really solid meal there. Now the rest of the playing for tonight is pretty much gonna be work. Um, I got a meeting in 50 minutes, and then I got some other work to catch up on before we obviously leave within a couple days on a trip for one month. Um, so this is gonna be the last vlog that's coming out. And then, um, you know, a couple days there are gonna be no vlogs. And then there are gonna be vlogs every single freaking day for one month straight, all right? So make sure to subscribe to the channel to stay updated. Get your ass ready for these daily vlogs. If you're excited, please give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel, leave a comment down below, and let me know what you guys think about the trip and if you're excited and I'll see y'all soon. Much love as always and peace out.